Hi, I'm Vicki Haas from Handy Quilter. And I'm Marie Eldridge. And you are in the Handy Quilter studio with us today, and we want to show you how to baste on a long arm. So first of all, there's a way you can do it just by like the old fashioned way. I'm just going to press the button and hold it down. So it'll, if I hold it down, it'll what make a What button are you pressing? So I'm using the up and down. The needle up the and down. The needle button. up and down. So as I just press that, it'll go down, make a stitch, come back up. Then okay. I will move the machine over. Then I'll press the button and make a stitch. So. so you have to be careful to release that button so that it doesn't make two stitches. Oh, are you trying to jinx me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. One. And then you just decide how far, if you want a two inch stitch or a four inch or whatever stitch, you just move the machine to that and press the needle and there it goes. And sometimes it's not even, but. And it doesn't have to be even, does it? No. You're just basting, you're sandwiching those two, those three layers together. If you'll start over at the other side again, okay. So now another way to do this is I actually to put turn off the regulator, the stitch regulator. I put it in manual mode and put my stitches, the percentage of my stitches, so the stitches per minute down to like 8%. Okay. And then I move the machine faster. So as I All do right. that. I got it set. All Let's right. see you do it. So I just hold that and I the faster I move it, the longer my stitches can be. It just takes stitches across. So that's a great way to do it. Yeah, that's a But there is another way. We clip the threads and on our current machines today, we have what we call a basting stitch. One half inch, one inch, two inch and four inch in basting stitch. So when you go down with your stitch regulation, so you're going back into stitch regulation, you're not in manual, when you go down to four stitches per inch, if you continue to go down using the negative or the, the minus button, it will take you to a half a stitch per inch. So why don't you show them what a half a stitch per inch looks like. And you'll actually turn the machine on and move and it will stitch every half inch. So I'm just pressing the start button. I have it set at a half inch. So it automatically at every half inch makes a stitch. Right. And there'll be reasons for half inch. Now let's stop and let's move it to a one inch basting. Okay. So, so I'm gonna use the minus key to get to one inch, okay? So every one inch it puts a stitch in the fabric. And I just have to move the machine. Okay, so let's okay. clip that thread and let's move back to the other side and let's move it to the two inch. Now the current machines have this feature on it. If you would like this feature on your uh, Avante, Sweet 16 or Fusion, you need to call your local retailer and he can work this out to get that, uh, that this new feature on yours. And there, that's every two inches. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, why don't you just, let's uh, bring you down and let you just work your way back towards you with four stitches per inch or not four stitches per inch, with four inches, uh, every f four inches. Here, and I'll hold your thread. Hold there. But you can go pretty fast and you can go right to left and left to right and just do your quilt pretty darn quick. Yes, you were quilting on this today, sandwiching this together, and you quilted all the way across, came down four inches, and then worked your way back. And she actually, Marie actually used the Pro Stitcher and used the channel lock, and so the horizontal channel lock, so that she got that straight line across, came down four inches, came measured down it, four inches. went across, so she just went back and forth, and it was great. Yeah, so a quick way to baste a quilt. Yes.